three, two, one, here we go. What a beautiful day. It's nothing about the weather, it is about today. We're going to test drive this car, the Neo ET7. So we have this car here. The ET7 is the first luxury electric sedan product by Neo. The ET7 has attracted a lot of attention from the public since it initially launched on the Neo Day 2021. Nearly 400 days we've been waiting for this car. This car is equipped high specification hardware and also the second living room interior design. So we need the mutual expectation. So please leave your comment below after watching this video. By talking about the design, as we can see here, there was X bar front looking face and also this one. The daytime running lights is pretty nice. And also down here, we have little glow here, which helps to uh, cool the batteries and the motors. It's quite a big car. It came with 5.1 meter lens and 3060 millimeter of the wheelbase. 1987 for the wides. Okay, check this. The wheel size starts at 90 inches. Of course, today we have a 20 inches wheels, which is, looks a lot better. And of course, the 20 and the 21 inch wheels are optional. You can pay extra money to upgrade it. You will get a retractable this flash door here, which pops out. So you don't have to, you don't have to put it out by too much force. So we just need to put our hands here and then it pops out itself. And so in case we close the door, we just need to push this door gently and then until it's almost closed and then it's automatically uh, closed by the electric motor. Frameless windows here, it comes with double layer insulated glasses, which directly contribute to the uh, sun insulation. Check this, it's a very unique watchtower design. You got two cameras, high definition cameras on the side and one LiDAR sensor right on the center. You will got this crumb surround for the windows. You can see this sleek line cross all the way to the back. It's the fast back design here. Cancel this side. At the rear, we have this little, just a little rear spoiler here. Now I'm going to give you guys a figure. 0 0.208, the jack coefficient, which makes it the most second aerodynamic production car. Do you guys know the first one? And please leave your comment below. I was expecting this car would open in the hatchback way. Well, it wasn't. Have a look at the chunk space. As we can see, the dips of the chunk is all right. Also down below here. So we have an emergency kit and we, we got also this little storage dam here. There is no much difference with other four door sedan. Check this, it's the lighting up strip cross all over the rear, which is pretty nice looking at the night time. They put logo here, so which is rarely see on other cars. I quite like the, the rear design out here, which is makes the car even more sportive looking. And today we got this, the something exterior design version. I, I personally, I prefer the moon theme exterior design. So which is covered by a lot of black parts, so which, uh, which is definitely cooler than the default one. For the ED7, we only have this DC fast charging port over there. And check that camera over there. So it is the rear view camera, so which gives you a wide angle view. So let's take a look at the interiors. Here on the brand new Neo ET7, I got a few things to share with you guys. The overall design is minimalistic and the but elegant. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is this very unique texture, wooden style and materials here, which is called Karen, the renewable retain. This material is came from the a tropical rainforest. Uh, that is quite environmental friendly. It got the Napa that is uh, ventilation and the heating functions and also the massage functions for the four seats. And the right on the back, we have the two air cushion for the back seats, very relaxing functions. Right on the front, we have the two high definition screen over here. As we can see here, there is a 10.2 inch, the digital instrument cluster here. And also we have the 
uh, this the driver detection sensor here and also we have this 12.8 inch AMOLED display which is equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 chip and as we can see here it's complete the floating design and it's not touching to the center cancel part it may be easy for us to upgrade in the future so it's just need to remove the whole things and put it back number one with more advanced system after a few years we have one wireless charging pad here and also we have these two cable holders and we have more storage down below here okay so for the center cancel part either we can open from the driver side or the passenger side the most impressive part is the speakers so this car got 7.1.4 and the immersive Dolby Autonomous sound systems. There were 23 speakers all around the car, also which produced 1,000 watts power output. That is really crazy. Such good sound system, we definitely need some good music and also watch the movie here. You can feel the sounds from uh, different directions. It's actually moving from far to near, which is uh, pretty dimensional feelings. Back to the 2022, the Neo day. So the Neo launched the VR and the AR glasses, which can project over 200 inches screen over there. So that is quite enjoyable. And probably stay in the car until midnight. Okay, here around the back seat of the Neo 87. So as we can see here, we have plenty zoom over there. And we have one, two, three nearly three feet room over there and that's plenty of space and also I got nearly one feet room for the headroom and it's quite a wide bench seat here and it can with a uh, completely flat floor here so which means the, the people sitting in the middle will get plenty of room if there's no one sitting in the middle so we can fold this down of course and we have very nice arm raised here and we leave Leave this up and then you got the extra little storage here and the one USB type C port here and of course this part is for putting your mobile phone and we have two cap holders here of course also we have this door and we can open it and then you can access the uh, trunk later you can put on the little fridge over there also here we got the rear screen as well so which you can do the seat adjustments and the ventilation and the massage functions, air cushion for the back seats and the heating functions as well and you can control the climate of course you also have the music control here yeah which is a pretty nice screen over there and also you have air van cans from here and also one USB-C Type-C port here okay let's see what this Neo 87 is like to drive on the road I'm kind of excited the 87 came with 650 horsepower and uh, 8, 850 newton meters of the torque and uh, so dual motor for all, all wheel drive as a result it has 3.8 seconds zero to 100 there are a few driver modes we can choose so the comfort mode and also the eco mode and also sport mode and sport plus mode or which which give you 3.8 seconds you can customize the pro, uh, personal drive mode which uh, allows you to do more customizations as well it is good over the undulations and uh, the suspension can give you more direct uh, feedbacks from the road there is not too much noise in the car it's actually pretty quiet the air suspension is absorbing even for small vibrations it does it does better job than my ES6 apparently what else is confidence about this car so now I'm gonna put on the sport plus mode which sport plus mode which gives you three eight seconds for zero to hundred of course you do feel more bumpers here and uh, the good thing for electric car is the low center gravity as there as there was a battery down below here it stops the car leaning quite so much in the bends the suspension is set up to the sport so which is more stiffer the first thing to note is the increasing the stiffness of the suspension so now three two one here we go definitely push you back to the the, the back seat <laughs> and and I'm sorry for the passenger at the back the ability is just to overtake the car whenever you want or whoever you want you see the car in front you ready three two one so floor it and we're gonna pass it I mean that is nuts and you have to 
get on the brake as quick as possible. As soon as you are going over the speed limits here, I don't want to end up in the jail for speedings. And also follow eco mode, or we call it one pedal driving. When you release the accelerator, it will slow down as it regenerates the, the consume the energies and the puts, puts it back to the battery. I didn't have much time to test drive the car in the highway or on the twisty road or the autopilot performance. So I'm going to share with you guys in the future videos when we got a chance the overall experience of this car which is uh, uh, reached my expectations or maybe even a little bit more. So it's very nice looking interior designs and uh, as well the very nice looking uh, exterior design. The selling price for this car is from $70,000 oh, to okay. uh, $83,000. So which is the same price range as the BMW as the BMW 5 Series and also the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and Audi A6. So would it be a strong competitor to them? So please leave your comment below if you have any thoughts. And thanks for watching today's video.